What is up, Fear at the Watchers? Fear Lurker is back here, and we defeated the Chicago Blackhawks in round one in the last game. And this game, we are facing the Vancouver Canucks. And since I put myself as the eighth seeded team, we are going to be playing at Rogers Arena, and I'm going to be using the same lineups as I did in the last video. It's just that Abstringat is going to replace Jack Fearless because Jack Fearless actually has a um, what? I made injury substitutions. Jack Fearless has a pulled hamstring, I think. Or something so abstract is going to be his replacement and we are going to be playing against vancouver which i already said but anyways clockwork austin is going to be in net again because well he was just in net and terry and barry revolver the twins they are the twins on our team not the twins on the canucks team not the cds but i have two twins on my team terry revolver and barry revolver and they're both defensemen, they play on the same line and everything. And I do not know how they replaced, uh, who was it, Wakefulness and Toxic Waste, because the original substitutions were them, or scratches were them, and then for some reason the computer automatically took out Wakefulness. I don't know where Waste is, or Toxic Waste. I don't know if he's on a line or anything, but I just know that the Revolver Twins have taken over against... Fearless, or not fearless, but um, wakefulness and waste. So anyways, this is game one, and hopefully we can edge out um, the Canucks in the first game so we can have a one nothing series. Oh, by the way, um, uh, team management, edit lines. Hmm. Offensive line two, that seems the same. Chiller is on the third line? Why is Toxic Waste on the fourth offensive line? He is a defend- he's a defender! These lines are messed up. These lines are 100% messed up. That's what you get when you get- when you make the computer change your lines for you. I don't even know how the computer changed my lines. It's just automatic. Oh, maybe that's what that injury substitution thing was earlier, because the lineups had to change since of- or due to the injury that Jack Fearless faced. Pulled hamstring. Okay, so here's Terry Revolver. Hilbert. Hilbert. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Up the wing to Henry. Kevin Bieksa to Chris Higgins. To Abstringat. Ooh. To Higgins. Oh, Abstringat. Oh, come on, Luongo. Luongo's got that one covered, and he's going to keep it that way. He's got it covered. You guys know that I am a huge Canucks fanboy, right? And I'm fighting against my team, so it's going to be a little bit weird. But anyways, I'm still going to try and beat them. We're probably going to beat them, most likely, hopefully, because I have an overall, or a 99 overall team. Okay, here's Chiller. I have to edit the lines after this game. Injury substitutions got into the computer, and it made the lines mess up. Oh, Luongo. Luongo's... The deal with Luongo is, sometimes he plays extremely well, and also sometimes he plays just bad. Sometimes he plays bad, sometimes he plays extremely well. But... It's all about trying to keep that consistent flow, so if you play a good game and then people expect you to play more good games, right? So, if you play a bad game, then people expect you to play a bad game, too. LaPierre, why did you stop? You could have gotten the puck and it wouldn't have been icing. Corey Schneider, however, with him, I don't really think Corey Schneider has ever been bad, it's just that He's okay most of the time. I don't think he's as good as Luongo when Luongo's at his prime. But Corey Schneider is definitely a good goalie as well. But then again, he is with the New Jersey Devils right now. Oh, Salo, why did you get a puck? Why did you get the puck? It's icing. So in exchange for Corey Schneider, we got the ninth overall pick, I think. And it turned out to be Bo Horvat. Which actually seems like a really good um, choice, I guess. Because, oh yeah, assassinate. Fourth goal of the playoffs, I think. Is, this, is that his fourth goal? I'm pretty sure it's his fourth goal. Well, I 
And Bo, Bo Horvat, he seems pretty cool. Off ice and on ice, he seems like a really good skater. Same thing with Hunter Shinkarik and Jordan Subban, who we all got. Yeah, it's his fourth goal. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good season in the 2013-2014 season. And also, Pavel Bure, his number, uh, number 10, I think, it's going to be retiring this or this season. Whistle. Does the play ever get blown dead whenever... The referee just loses sight of the puck. Okay, the faceoffs are equal. I don't think I've ever had or I've ever watched a live hockey game where uh, the play had to be blown dead because the referee couldn't see the puck anymore. Dan Hamus. Come on, Hamus. Oh, come on. Checking from behind, I bet. Charging! That was a charging penalty. Oh, Sammy Salo. Isn't Sammy Salo with Tampa Bay now? Tampa Bay, yeah. Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah! Assassinate! Again! His fifth goal. Second goal of the game, fifth goal of the season. Wow, Vancouver's actually much easier than Chicago. Which is strange, considering that in my version of NHL 11, Vancouver has the highest overall out of all of the teams in the NHL. Well, besides the Western and Eastern All-Stars, those guys don't count. Vancouver has 91 overall in my version of NHL 11, and all the other teams have 90, 89, that, those numbers. How does Vancouver have the highest overall? Ooh, Abstringat. Oh, Luongo with the save. Oh, Roberto, 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 Luongo. These are, by the way, the same settings that I used against Chicago. It's just that they're much easier against Vancouver. So, yeah, link in the description to see my settings. Oh, Vancouver's still on the power play. Okay, here's Assassinate. The guy who scored both of the goals in the last game and in this game. Remember, Assassinate was the one who scored both of the goals in the game against Chicago where we won 2-1 in game, which was game five, where we eliminated them. That was my last video. And he scored two goals in this game too. Let's pass it to Assassinate. Maybe he's a good luck charm for our team. Oh, that would have been a good goal. As I said before, it's strange that all these other guys like Burger King and Assassinate, they're getting all these goals because usually at the end of every playoff season or just regular season that I play with this team, the leading scorers are always the same four guys, Sam Crater, Neldrin Hilbert, Jack Fearless, and Spinechiller. It's always those guys. There's no other, well, the other guys score goals too, but they don't score as much goals. And for leading in and leading in hits, it's always the same guys too. Arbok out dazzle and either Tyrone or um uh who else? Probably Neldrin Hilbert. Oh, that's a penalty. Interference. So yeah, there's a you there's usually if you observe Interference, okay. If you observe the play style of these players on my team, you can see that there's clearly some guys that are better than others, even though they all have 99 overalls, which is strange. But then again, there are size differences, um, stick, you, stick differences, I guess, because some guys use different hockey sticks that have different attributes when it comes to shooting to the net, and there are other guys that have different kinds of skates that make them faster, more agile. And other all the other stuff because you can customize that stuff in the create a create a player section. Daniel Sedin. Ooh, let's no. Come on, Arbok. Ooh, that was a good save, but he was so far out. He was like Tim Thomas on that. He was so far outside of his net, or so far out in the blue paint. 
extended now to a differential of two. Oh, got rid of that one. Ooh, that was blocked. In front of the net, that control of it. Christian Erhoff, Sammy Sallow, Ryan Kessler, saved by Austin. Okay, there we go, we dumped it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 21, 20 seconds, okay. Not even 20 seconds. Okay. Henrik Sedin, Daniel to Christian Erhoff. Yeah, nothing to show for. Okay, so, Neldrin Hilbert. Ryan Kessler, I thought he was going to get nailed. Oh, there we go, he got nailed there. Oh, Dan Hamus. Oh, what? Maxim Lapierre. Isn't Maxim Lap Lapierre now with, uh, what's their name, St. Louis or something? Am I right? Oh, Luongo. Yeah, exactly, freezing of the puck. They always freeze it. I set the likelihood that they're going to pass all the way up and made the, th the thing where it says goalie puck cover frequency all the way down. Oh, that would... That was close. Luongo moved off to the left a little bit to that shot. And the puck just stayed frozen right in front of the line. Okay. Oh. Rafi Torres. The guy who scored the game winner in game one against Boston. Here's Barry, I think. No, Barry Revolver. Close, close, close. Really close. Oh, he gets checked. Mason Raymond. To Sammy Salo. Breaks his stick. Mason Raymond to Manny Malhotra. Uh. Ooh, that was going to be a drive right in the middle of the net. Okay, here's Tess. Abscron uh, Tess, whatever his name is. That would have been a good goal. Oh, come on, Sammy Salo. Oh, they're going to do a line change now. Oh, come on. I was trying to deke it. Oh, that was a good um, hit. I almost said save there. Sammy Salo to Terry Revolver. Here's Tess again. Let's pass it to Assassinate. Maybe he's going to get another goal. Or pass it. And that was going into the net. But I think it went off the post or off the side of the net. But we're still winning 2 nothing, So it's not that big of a deal. If the Canucks score two goals and then make it go into overtime, then that's going to be a problem. He is in the zone. Who's in the zone? Luongo? I, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking. Okay. Daniel Sedin gets checked. No, not, not really. Dan Hamus. Oh, no. Daniel Sedin. Clockwork Austin with the save. Notice, Clockwork Austin's goalie mask. It's just one of those masks that attaches to your face, not those masks that you wear. The ones that actually stick to your head, and if you get hit in the face with it, it's still going to hurt. Oh, that's going to be a delayed penalty. No! Oh, what? How did the puck get over there? I thought the puck was going down the screen, not up. Well, here's what players are geared to do. Anytime they feel a stick down around their shin pads or their skates, they just... Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, Kevin Bieksa. Kevin Bieksa. He gets checked by Hilbert. Boy, this is a guaranteed call. You gotta know it's a penalty. He flat out ran... Two for boarding. Oh, yeah, I also saw this, uh live Canucks press conference thing that was happening at Rogers Arena yesterday. It was cool. It was like two hours long and I was watching the entire thing. Oh, Spine Chiller! I was... I, I wanted to pass that to our defender. Okay, here's Spine Chiller. Oh! Yo, 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 yo! That was too many yo's. That was one more yo than his name is. Yo, 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 off the rebound. And he buried it where he wanted it to go. Hardly even see it. I mean, can you say light beam? That was his first goal. Yeah. 
pick one up late in the period it matters well they have just about pushed this other team this is going to be like game 7 against boston hopefully we win for nothing and also clockwork austin doesn't have a shutout yet so if this is his first shutout and comes in the second round in the first game then that's probably going to be uh impressive i guess not really who cares Third period, Abstringat's taking the face off and replace as a replacement of Jack Fearless. Who knows how many goals Fearless could have scored against these guys? Oh, that was a good shot. Oh my gosh, I had two chances to bury it. This one is off the post, and this one, I don't even shoot the puck. There's an open net right there. Keep your eye on the net. Look at this, this is an open net. That wouldn't have gone in anyways. That's about as good as it gets done, and they didn't get a thing. Well, a little bit of help, maybe? I mean, he could use it. Who can use it? Oh, the goaltender. Roberto Luongo. Slap shot. Hamus. I'm actually glad I'm facing Vancouver, because I'd rather face Vancouver than San Jose, so that my commentary that I'm doing is going to be more accurate, since I know... Every single Vancouver player on the roster of this game. And I don't I really don't know that many San Jose guys except for uh Joe Thornton, I think. And Ante Niami, I is that was is that what his name is? Is Patrick Marleau also part of the Sharks? I want to say that he's part of the Sharks, but I don't think that's right. Uh whatever. And then when it comes to Vancouver, I know every single person on the current roster, I think. Most like, no, probably like, um, probably 75% of everybody on the current roster and everybody on this roster, on this game. Oh, Henrik Sedin! Okay, so here's Abstragat, Abstragat, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, against Alexander Edler, I think. It's Chick Burrows, there we go. No! Henrik said Dean. Okay, let's be honest here. That goal was an accident on my behalf. I let that in, but I accidentally let that in. That was all my fault. Well, they looked like they were dead a minute ago. At least now there's some signs of life. No, that would have gone in. It's probably going to be for slashing or interference in one of those. Charger, yeah. Whoa! Whoa, 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 ho, ho. Where did that puck come from? Daniel Sedin. Now the Twins both have goals. Off the rebound, I think. Aw. Oh. Yeah, let's give... Let's give them some more goals, or... No, let's score some more goals. Oh, that was a good check. I was playing um, a game yesterday. It was... Oh, there we go. It, it was the Medicine Hat Tigers versus... Uh, whatchamacallit... Um, I think it was the Manitoba Moose, and I was the Medicine, I was the Medicine Hat Tigers. We won the game 1-0. Manitoba had 29 shots, and we only had one shot. And that one shot that we had was the game winner. That was, It was actually so cool. We won one nothing, and we only had one shot. They had 29 shots. Guess who got the first star? Obviously the goalie of the other team. Totally not my goalie. So yeah, that was a fun game. And now yo, 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 looking for his second goal. Pope checked it into the net, almost. Almost Pope checked it into the net. I was like Yoda there. Tyrone, no network, network, network. Here's Tyrone, no. That's Michael Samuelson to Ryan Kessler. Ryan Kessler to Christian Nerhoff. Christian Nerhoff takes his lap shot. It's deflected wide. Ryan Kessler has the puck, passes it to Edler. Edler to Christian Nerhoff. Erhoff loses possession of the puck. Erhoff to Higgins. Higgins to Kessler to Samuelson. Why is Kessler on this line? Shouldn't Kessler be with Burroughs and them? 
Okay. Oh, wait, no. Burroughs is with the Sedins. Never mind. Okay, so... I believe that's Michael Samuelson lugging the puck in. Oh, Daniel Sedin! He probably would have gotten that if I didn't check him. This video is only 20 minutes long and 23 seconds. Spine chiller. Won the face off. Okay, so yo, yo, yo to Mr. Network. That was a good... That wasn't a good deke at all. It was just a regular deke. Dan Ham Hughes to Daniel Sedin, Daniel Sedin to Henrik, scores, just kidding. Spine chiller, spine chiller, spine chiller, no spine chiller. Yay, we have a penalty, or they have a penalty. Kevin Bieksa, I think? No, not Kevin Bieksa. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Bieksa. Two minute minor for tripping. Yeah, they need to score two shorthanded goals just so they have a shot at winning the game. Whoa, that was a flying puck. What if that went in? Pass it to Barry Revolver to assassinate to King. To Burger King. One of the leading scores of this. No, there was supposed to be somebody there. There was supposed to be somebody there, I just passed the puck for nothing! Oh well. Before I end this video, I'm gonna change the lineups back to what I want them to be. So we win! Yes! one nothing For San Antonio in the series. The winner of this series is going to face either Detroit, I believe, or St. Louis. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's either Detroit or St. Louis. It's weird because the Blackhawks and the Kings got knocked out in the first round. Okay, Barry Revolver, second star. Who has the first star? Probably Assassinate. Yep, Assassinate. It's Assassinate. Two goals. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so we won the game. Video is 22 minutes, 36 seconds long. And I'm gonna change the lineups. So, stick around. Game 2, which is also gonna be at Rogers Arena, is gonna be uploaded tomorrow. Okay, so, tomorrow as in the 25th of July. This video is gonna be uploaded on the 24th of July. Coaching options, edit lines. We can't put on uh, Jack Fearless because he's not even in the lineup anymore because of his injury. So what we're going to do is, um, should we keep Abstringat here? Abstringat's a center. I put him on the left wing before. Toxic Waste is, um, let's just take off, no wait, no. Let's just put these back to the best lines that I, that I can make, that I can make them to. Tess, Burger King. No, Tess is always with Spine Chiller. No, shouldn't this be the second line? Um, is Abtrax with Spine Chiller and Tess? Yeah, I think he is. So, no, 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 no. Uh, Yolo Swag. Yolo Swag is always on the left wing. Mechanic Destruction, Captain Assassinate. Toxic Waste, yeah. Usually, Toxic Waste would be in the defensive side of things. With Wakefulness. Hmm. Okay, so I think this is pretty good for the offensive lines. Defensive lines, those are good. Neldrin Hilbert, Sam Crater. Uh, this is a good line. These are pretty good lines. These are some pretty good lines. But, let's take these guys out. And replace some with Vister Network and Tyrone because I really don't like, or I really don't think that the Revolver Twins are the best defenders on this team. I think they're probably the worst defenders on this team, but they're still pretty good though. Where's Tyrone? Four man power play. Uh, this is okay, I guess. Burger King, there's those Revolver Twins again. Let's put Toxic Waste in here. He spent too much time as a forward, even though he's actually a defender. And for fun, let's just put in 
Uh, hmm. No. Let's put in. Uh, just put in Tyrone there. Just put Tyrone there. Penalty kill. This one's good. Um, this one's good too. Just so. Let's just replace. Let's just have some fun. Replace this with Spine Chiller. No, Spine Chiller is mostly a center. Eldrin Hilbert. This is a good line. Let's actually have a little bit of fun with this. Put, uh, put Tess in here. Shootout lineup. Usually, Jack Fearless would be at the very top, but then again, he's injured. The entire first line is actually <laughs> the first guys to go for the shootout. Extra attacker, that's good. So, yeah, these are some pretty good lines. And then, let's just, uh, did we already simulate it to our next game? Okay, assistant coach minimal. Yeah, we already, um... Simulated it, so let's go to Stats Central. one nothing for San Antonio, for Detroit, Montreal, and New York against Boston. It's actually really confusing since there's two New Yorks in here. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to show us like and not spare last night on gaming. Tune in tomorrow for the next game between the Vancouver Canucks and the San Antonio Renegades, and bye.